Let us first acknowledge that the land now known as Solano County is the traditional land of the Patwin people, who now live on as the Yochadihi Winton Nation. Acknowledgement is just the first step. Please take the time to learn more about Indigenous history. You may have seen new construction starting at the Highway 12 overpass in Cordelia. Maybe this is a flashback to the new overpass they built for Green Valley Road a few years back. You may be wondering, what is all this new construction? This is the I-80, I-680 Highway 12 interchange project, a seven package reconfiguration of the current interchange that serves Cordelia and all of Northern California. But why does Fairfield need this project? The I-80, I-680 Highway 12 interchange project aims to reduce congestion and improve safety in what can often be a very confusing interchange to navigate. This interchange is a very important regional connector, connecting Fairfield to other parts of the Bay Area, like the East Bay and Napa Valley, the Greater Sacramento region, the Central Valley, and the rest of the country. Additionally, the areas surrounding the interchange experiences extremely bad traffic, especially during the morning hours. Parents dropping their kids off at school and commuters headed out of Fairfield often bottleneck at some common locations, like at the train tracks on Ropes Road. This project is being worked on by staff from the Solano Transportation Authority and Caltrans. Funding for the project is managed by agencies such as Bay Area Metro which distributes regional funds from sources like bridge tolls. The regional importance of the project, along with the scope of its goals, make the interchange an extremely complex and extremely expensive project. Let's take a look at what the project will bring to Fairfield residents. Package one of the interchange broke ground on the 2nd of June, 2014, with construction finishing on the 9th of August in 2016. This package saw the first major improvements to the interchange, constructing a new connector from westbound I-80 to Highway 12. This new bridge structure eliminated the weave between people entering and exiting I-80, which can cause accidents as people are simultaneously accelerating and decelerating. Package 1 also saw the construction of a new overpass for Green Valley Road, which will be important later. Package 2 will see the construction of a new connector for traffic coming from Napa on Highway 12 headed to Central Fairfield and beyond. This new connector will eliminate the weave that currently occurs between traffic merging onto I-80 and exiting onto Green Valley. Traffic going into Fairfield from Vallejo will now be able to exit earlier, while traffic coming from Napa will now be able to exit based on if they're going to I-80 or Green Valley. Congestion may also see some relief on Highway 12, as the new bridge structure will be two lanes instead of one. Packages 3 and 4 of the project will work together to completely realign I-680. Remember this new bridge that goes to Highway 12 from Package 1? The one that you've probably already driven on? This exit will now have a new bridge that will allow drivers to head south on I-680 to Cordelia, Benicia, and to the east and south bays. Remember this new bridge for Green Valley Road from Package 1? See how it was built with this weird bent shape? That's because in Package 3, the bridge will connect to what is currently I-680. In fact, this entire portion of Lopes Road will be reconfigured. What does this mean? That means everyone who travels between Green Valley and Cordelia will be able to avoid the dreaded five-way stop at these train tracks, providing a smooth connection between the two areas. This also means that the scary merges between traffic from I-680, Green Valley Road, and I-80 will no longer coalesce, allowing drivers to safely exit at Pittman Road. You may have noticed this weird gap over at Red Top Road and Lopes Road, 
here, a future road will allow you to directly go onto and come off of I-680. Yeah, package 3 is pretty big, but package 4 is even bigger. Package 4 will finish the job that package 3 started. Those coming from San Jose and Benicia will be able to take a new bridge connector that will have options to continue onto I-80 towards Fairfield or take Highway 12 to Napa. A fully realigned Lopes Road will allow residents in Green Valley, Cordelia, and Old Town Cordelia to completely avoid the mess at the railroad tracks and instead use the old I-680 alignment to go over it. Old Town Cordelia residents who want to go to Vallejo, Napa, and San Francisco can now directly enter I-80 from Sassoon Valley and Pittman Roads, while those coming from Fairfield and Vacaville can now directly exit at Green Valley. You may have noticed that a lot of the improvements made by packages 2, 3, and 4 cut directly into currently existing industrial and commercial buildings. Unfortunately, STA will need to utilize eminent domain in order to realize this project. Eminent domain is the process by which the government takes private land to be used for public uses. In such a process, fair market price must be given as compensation to the landowner. This process usually involves lengthy discussions and negotiations with existing private landowners. As can be seen on the map of the completed interchange, buildings in the path or adjacent to the future interchange project will be subject to eminent domain. While package 3 and 4 will see most of the major improvements, package 5 still brings some important work that needs to be done. Package 5 will create a new connector from Business Center Drive to Red Top Road, allowing Green Valley residents to easily go to Highway 12, I-80, or Rodriguez High School while reducing the bottleneck at Green Valley Road. Those going to the inner Bay Area will be able to enter and exit at Red Top Road with a new interchange that should eliminate the cramped stop-and-go driving that currently exists at the intersection. In an effort to increase carpooling, Package 6 will see the construction of a new HOV, or High Occupancy Vehicle Lane, for people on I-680 coming from Benicia headed into Fairfield. Remember, carpooling is an effective way to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and congestion on the road. Even without fancy new HOV-only bridges, please try to carpool whenever possible. Package 7 will see the last set of improvements as part of the I-80, I-680, Highway 12 interchange project. With it, travelers coming from Vallejo will be able to exit directly onto I-680 and continue heading towards Cordelia, Benicia, and the East Bay. Travelers going north on I-680 from Cordelia will be able to directly head towards Vallejo using a new loop onto I-80 westbound. Travelers from Napa will be able to go directly from Highway 12 to I-680 towards Cordelia and the East Bay. And lastly, away from Cordelia, drivers going to Sassoon City on Highway 12 will see the highway widened. Now you may be wondering, why are all these seemingly important and useful improvements the last package instead of the carpool lane in package 6? STA Director of Projects Janet Adams has a possible explanation. And then package 7 is the last component and what it does is it makes the uh, Jameson 80-680 a complete interchange. Though the loop and the um, ramp there are low volume, um, that's why we have it as the last package. So the planned improvements are cool and all, but how is it getting funded? STA, who is in charge of managing the project, has different funding strategies to bring the full project to completion. However, with different political administrations on the federal and state levels, changing attitudes towards cars and their role in society, and shifting priorities when it comes to transportation planning, these funding strategies have changed over the years. This is further complicated by changes in the project's phasing. Construction of Package 2 of the project is funded by the Senate Bill 1 gas tax passed in 2017. Gas tax funds are used for grants like the Trade Corridor Enhancement Program, or TCEP. STA was awarded $53 million in TCEP funds in 2018, allowing for construction of the project. 
It is expected that STA will continue to compete for TCEP grant funds to pay for the construction of the other packages. Another important funding source for the project are bridge tolls, the most recent of which being Regional Measure 3. Regional Measure 3, which passed in 2018, will increase bridge tolls on all eight Bay Area bridges by $3 by 2025 in order to fund transportation projects throughout the region. $150 million of the revenue generated by Regional Measure 3 will be dedicated to the interchange. The I-80, I-680 Highway 12 interchange project aims to improve mobility for Fairfield residents, travelers, and transportation operations within Northern California. While the project won't make traffic completely disappear, it should help to relieve congestion on facilities made to handle a population thrice as small as it is now. If you like this video, please be sure to hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to Solano Futuro if you want to hear more about development in Solano County, and hit the bell to be instantly notified whenever we upload a new video. And of course, be sure to visit Solano Futuro to learn more about all new projects in Solano County. We'll be sure to keep you updated on all new developments and El Futuro. Until next time.